Good morning. Uh, so yesterday um, ended with me stuck with uh, uh, testing the uh, setting flags on a command line version of Snippet Pixie, the new one I'm building in Golang. Um, and it bugged me enough that last night um, I had a quick debug session um, using um, you know debug test um, and I found out that um, it was failing on the pass let's expand that hey. um, it was failing here and just exiting um, the reason they was just exiting out um, was because on here I had uh, as a option on the new flag set I had exit on error um, once I'd switched that to continue on error I was able to see the error and what was happening was in my test here I was passing just the shorthand minus p but at the time I had um, the P being just like the string um, flag, so it was expect it was set in ping response um, for P um, with a ping default response, uh, and I expected that because I didn't provide a string to the minus P, so I'm calling it's as if I'm calling snippet pixie minus P without any string. I expected that the default would be used, but that's not the case. So it was throwing an error and saying, hey, you need to supply an argument to the minus p flag. Um, and of course, previously it was, it was erroring out, and now I, yeah, I could catch the error because I had a continue on error. Um, so this seems to be um, it's the way that the flag um, package, the stand flag package works, um, and it's not what I want. What I want is if I supply minus p or um, dash dash ping as an option, um, I want it to use the default response of pong, basically. Um, so that gets sent to the daemon, um, it says, yay, I'm here, and returns Pong. Um, but that's not the way the flag package works. Um, so the way around it for me at the time, last night, just while I was playing, was to set P minus P to be a bool variable. Um, sorry, a bool flag. Um, set it to false by default. Um, and then I could just check whether ping was set or not and do the ping. Um, but I don't want to do that. I want it to be a normal um, flag that can take an optional string. Um, so I'll come... Yeah, so... The only way really um, around that I found is that I need to switch to this um, P flag package that I was going to do anyway because I want more um, POSIX compliant flags compared to the flag package. Um, and it seems that they've got this thing where you can do a no opt def value, um, which means that if you were to so if you were by default setting one, two, three, four, um, and you then set this to, well, to, to something, um, if you do this, you just pass the flag, um, the flag without an argument, it will use your no opt def val, uh, which is exactly what I want. I wanted to do that, um, although I'd probably set it um, to the same that um, so I need to use this um, and there also seems to be a wrinkle 
in that this lookup, it just basically says it, it does do a lookup um, on the flag to see if it exists and then passes back um, the flag structure, which is not exactly what I was trying to do in this particular context. What I was trying to do here it was see if it was set. So if someone actually did provide ping, um, which the flag um, package doesn't seem to have any way of doing. Um, but p flag uh, has, let me find it. It has changed. So I'm hoping this works. It says changed returns true if the flag was explicitly set during pass and false otherwise. So I'm hoping that's what I, I can use. So I'm going to give that a go in a minute. So let's get going. Um, let's just start using this. Um, so I need to do this. Um, and we'll just get cracking. I'll add that package. And then I'm going to switch out flag. Should be able to do that. And why is it giving me yellow? Imports not sorted. Fine, you'll sort yourself out in a minute. Um, so now, in theory, I'm using um, the new package, which acts just like normal. So what we're going to do here is switch things out. So we're going to return this to be string bar, uh, which sets ping response for P and uses Oops. Ping default response. Oh yeah, I renamed some of the variables here. I did have default ping response here, but I thought if I just start them all with the same um, word, it will be more consistent and easier to work with. Um, and then in the usage, we have ping the daemon. Um, Do and let's actually go there. Let's change that. Okay. No, I'll, I need to make this a little bit better. So ping the demon with. And unless alternate response. That's fine here. And then here I can just make that shorthand now because it's doing the same thing. And so they're now both work in the same way. Uh, 
I should be able to get a shot of that. Here. If flags changed ping. Or flags changed P. Oh, oh, and that's another thing I didn't need to do. So um, if I go back to here, you can see um, there's a there's a p suffix on this int p um you can have shorthand very uh, versions uh, where is it talked about here probably up at the top oh well. come on line da 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 uh, either way, um, there's a quick and easy way of um, creating uh, flags where it's a long name and a short name that do the same thing. Um, basically by using a capital P at the end of what you would normally have. Um, so if I look at, um, let's see if I go down to what I'm going to use. I'm going to use string with string string var p. So I can pass in the longhand, shorthand, default value, and then the usage. So I'm going to do that. So I don't need that anymore. Do this and then pass in P. So we have, uh, yeah, so we have where we're putting it the um, longhand, shorthand, the value, and the usage. Yep. Okay. Don't need that ball anymore. So in theory, setting new flag set um, and using the this is the default flag set. We'll come on to how you can have multiple flag sets later on. I think uh, I might be doing that. Um, but anyway, for the default flag set, um, which is going to be given args zero, which is the name of the like right, executable. So it'll be snippet pixie once I've got that working. Um, we're going to continue on error. We have a default response of Pong. Ping the daemon with Pong returned unless return a response supplied. I'm going to change that. Expecting Pong response unless alternate. Response string returned supplied. Response is probably better. Yeah, that'll do. Um, let's remember, uh, so we're going to set ping response to ping. Do, 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 do. All right, I think that looks okay. So if either ping or... I wonder if that works.
bit just to check. Yeah, it's just individual. Okay. I was wondering whether I can get away with just doing that. I might test that in a minute. So we're going to set the command structure. Uh, sorry, the config command to ping and then give it ping response. Now I need to do the setting of the no opt. So flags look up. and then set no opt default equal to oh, ping default response and I believe I have to use a separate one No, no, it's fine then. Okay. I wonder if that's all I need to do. Whether I need to do it for P as well. Let's just find out. We'll just run the test and see what happens. So here we're going to do minus P without the string. So in theory, it's going to use Pong as the response. And I'm expecting Pong. And then the second test, I'm passing the, sh the long name with Wibble and I'm expecting Wibble in the arcs. Okay. Let's run this. Ah. Trust him. Rebels has ping response, so why? Why did that not work? And what was the response? Pong, I guess. Interesting. Hmm, let's debug that.
Right, so at the moment, ping default, ping usage, ping responses, pong. Now this is the first time around where the args are minus p on its own. So we'd expect that. Go in here, set that up. That's fine. No error. And the command is right and pong is correct. Clean out C, I'll just make sure. Yep, so clean out C. Yep. Uh, args, snippet minus p, and now it should be ping wibble. Step into that. Okay, so definitely got the args correct. Config is see is empty. So oh, hold on, the ping response is still pong. Why? Interesting. It's just not picking it up. Hmm. Let's do a quick experiment here. If I take out changed P, and we'll do now, this may mean that the first test fails. I want to see whether doing changed ping, which is the main name for this flag, catches it anyway. We'll see. Do a debug one. 
So we're only dealing with ping, but we do have shorthand P that we've just supplied. What happens then? Has it changed? It has. Well, that's good. So that passes through. So let's resume. Now we've got ping ripple. Still doing ping response of pong, which is wrong. Hmm. So the problem is, if I take this out, I wonder. Is that going to uh, so we might get an error now because the minus p flag is on its bare. Yep. Flag needs an argument p and p. Okay. So that's going to bail out there. Okay, let's um, block out these for the moment. We'll just do the p the ping flag with Wibble. So in here, ping wibble. Responses wibble. Interesting. So that'll pass now. If put that back. So now we've got a default set. to Pong. Let me pass. Oh. That doesn't seem right. Okay. What if, right, first of all, let's double check. 
but I'm doing the right thing here. Out default. Kind of feels like it's come getting confused by the shorthand. I don't know how. Let's try this. Bit daft to know, but. Shouldn't make a difference, but we'll just try it just in case there's a little bug in that. Okay. Okay. Let's just double check that. That's interesting. So, that doesn't work. Mm -hmm. Okay, wait. Uh, have I got the right name there? No opt def val. Interesting. Why is that not coming up? Hmm. Mm. wonder if this is the issue here.
that's not it. Press on short form arguments when no default is set. Okay, I just ran into one, three, four. That doesn't give me a lot of description. So to none of our forces using okay. That's the same problem I'm seeing. Yep, same probably there as well. Lots of people are hitting this and trying to fix in different ways. Okay. Uh, right, well, that. how do I test that? So at the moment... So this fails. Okay. Do I need to then pass in it this way? Is that is that the syntax that I would get in arcs? Let's find out. Yes. Okay. So that means there's a restriction where I need to do ping equals that if I want to override. Which I'm okay with, to be honest. That's kind of a standard way of doing things. Mm. 
Yeah, I can just, uh, I can deal with that. That's not a problem. So, okay. Let's see if that means everything passes again. I need to test that standard out in a sec. All right, so here we need to put that back. And that back. Uh, the long form we're testing there. And, okay, let's just see if that works now. Everything passes. Um, and I want to do a little test here. To make sure that nothing is output. Not sure what the syntax are doing this, but we'll see. So I'll give that a little run. And that passes too. That's good. Okay. And now I want to beef these things up a little bit. Um I could do a data-driven test here, um, but I think I'll just cheapskate it for the moment. And take this. And that again. Could do that with. That's going to be on its own. Yeah, I want it twice. So four variations here. Uh, so what I want here is minus P. And then in here, I want to test ping on its own, which should result in pong. Definitely, yeah, I really should data drive it, but uh, I've got, uh, I need to finish in a minute. Uh, so this will do for the moment. Right, so we'll quickly test that. That passes. Good. Okay. Um, okay, so that's fine. For the test of the flags. I'm going to quickly commit that. It's not actually working, working though. Um, add test of PNARGs. Okay, and then we actually need to do something with it. So here, we're going to have C set. And at the moment, we are just automatically just calling ping 
and again a pong. So if I actually run this now, um, go run main and the bus, and I just do uh, just do ping equals ribble. It will return pong because we're not passing it in. We're not doing it actually anything with those com the config that we know in theory is working. So we need to actually do something with it. Um, now I'm sure there's some fancy way of uh, doing some reflection and whatever, but I haven't got time to quickly look at that. So I'm just going to do a quick and dirty here. Uh, what we'll do is um, let's do a quick switch. I think is that right? What's the syntax for a switch and go? So that's not the right syntax. Let's look up the syntax for a switch. Um, Uh, oh, well, I know there's a tour goal. Switch. Oh, case. <laughs> of course. Ay, ay, ay. It's like yesterday when I forgot to actually put monk in. Okay. So why is that an issue? Oh, they scoped. Interesting. So that's going to be complaining that it's... Well, that doesn't make sense. Hmm. 
in that same level. So I take it I can't just so it's always gonna put it back. So if I indent that and then do a format boo. Oh well, it is what it is. You stick to the go format. Um okay. So in theory that'll work. I am shadow in there though. Don't want that. Yeah, I'm then. Well, let's see if that works. Um, what we need there is I think what we'll end up doing is put in I wonder if I'll end up doing more in here. We'll see. Um, at the moment, this quick test, we'll see how this goes. Uh, so, does this work now? Yes. And if I take out the pram, get pong, if I switch that to a minus p same thing if i do equals wobble we get wobble back um and if i do something daft like minus f unknown shorthand flag if i do dash dash wibble unknown flag wibble if I do minus h 
usage minus p ping string equals pong ping the dim expecting pong response unless alternate response supplied Yeah, so that's not a good name, not a good usage then, is it? You see, and this is going to be that's a lie. I can't have that space. Don't like that. Might have to do a little work around for that. But anyway, that uh, usage is wrong really now. So, ping the demon expecting. Yeah, okay, so let's just change that to ping the demon. Dimension string at all? Yeah, string, okay. If it does, then that's what I'm going to put here. Ping the daemon for expected response string. Then I should actually... Fix that up here. So if response is not equal, no, sorry, if you know what that should really be. Expected. Nah, I'll keep it as is. Um, okay. If S is not equal to response, um, return. There is 
new. Incorrect response. Otherwise, we're good. That works there. How do I test that? If I kill the demon... Yeah, that's different. Quickly, uh, oops, quickly break this. The demon is always going to supply with Pong now. I'm going to expect Wibble. Incorrect response. Wobble. Uh, no, that's not what I wanted. Go. Oh. Incorrect response. Yes. Yeah, that's why I, I was thinking that I should probably rename that input. Expected. Ping demon. Or expected. Response. Expected. Should have left it that the way here. Response. Response. I'm going to switch these around. And then here, we're definitely looking at response. And we return response. So expected gets passed, response gets passed through, um, and then the that's fine. That's okay. Right, before I change this, let's quickly test that now. Still works. Incorrect response, Pong. Good. Back on the server. 
put this back in place. Stop and start. Run it again. Ping went wobble. Good. Okay. And then on the server, um, this should really be the same. Or should it? No, that's fine. It's a different setup. That's okay. All right. Um, so that's good. That's good. Ping the demon for its response. Okay, it's a bit hard coded, but we'll get there. We'll get there bit by bit. So let's commit off. And um, what did we change here? Um, Turn error from ping if response not as expected. Okay. Right, and now it's one minute to stand up. So it is time say goodbye. Uh, thanks for watching um, and until next time, take care.